Hi everyone, in this short video tutorial I will show you how to create a wrinkles dynamic deformation using a driven displacement map. To do so we will use a simple hand mesh okay, with a simple displacement map. Okay, The purpose of this course is not to show you how to sculpt or uh, create shape keys or stuff like this, it's just to show you the tips uh, to drive the, the displacement map based uh, on shape key movements. So we have our displacement modifier already set up with a strength of 0.1. It's a pretty important value because it's the one we will be targeting with the drivers. We also have already made vertex group that will allow us to separate the face uh, in different parts and also already made um, shape keys. So the shape keys are pretty classical. They are made to move the eyebrow and also the cheekbone. Okay, I won't cover the, um, the shape keys creation because I believe it's pretty easy to be done. So let's cover the different vertex group. Okay, half L and half R are just uh, separation of the head in two halves. That is very useful when you are using uh, a rigging. Okay, we have the forehead that is separated also in two parts on the left and the right, the eye side of also, and the lion wrinkle. So now we need to create multiple displacement modifiers uh, separated using those vertex groups. So I uh, have this uh, global displacement modifier. We'll call it uh, for head dot L. Okay. And we will uh, use the vertex group for head dot L. And now you see that only this part of the head is displaced. Okay, if I get rid of it, you can see that everything is displaced here. And if I add it again, okay, only this part is uh, is affected. So now we just have to create uh, multiple displacement modifier based on any on every vertex group. So displace forehead dot r. Okay, we are using UV coordinates. The vertex group is forehead dot r, and the strength is still zero point one. Okay, so now all the forehead is modified. I won't be recording all the displacement uh, map uh, modifiers creation because you just have to make six of them okay to cover all the parts we have seen all my displacement uh, modifiers are now done okay so now uh, we will uh, see how to drive the shape keys using a simple rigging so here is the rig okay okay so this one is not affected and I will show you how to do this you can see that the other one are already functioning. So, to create uh, a driven ship key, it's pretty simple. So, the value we want to drive is this one. Okay. You just have to add a driver here. Okay. And now the value is zero because uh, it's its default value until uh, you haven't set uh, a driver. So to get to the driver, just go to the graph editor, check the drivers. We have all of our driver uh, stocked here. Okay, so you can see that I have a driver for each shape key. Those are already set. We will just set this one as an example. So this is. The vi this value, okay, and what we want is that the movement on the y-axis of this bone uh, to modify this value. So we need to use average value, then choose uh, the rig object, and select this bone. We will be using its y-location in its local space. 
I need to update the dependencies to uh, remove this uh, error uh, error message. And now, whenever I move this, you can see its position changing in its local space, and also the value is modified here. And we can see that the value is also modified here. So this is exactly what we are looking for. So we don't need to add uh, a generator to change the um, coefficient between this value and this value, okay, or the driver value and the driven value. So this is it for this bone. In case you want to change the value if uh, your shape key have uh, a maximum of 2, you can simply add a modifier generator and you have uh, an additional uh, additive value here and a multiply value here. So if I set it to 2, whenever this value will be 1, this one will be doubled and will be 2. So I just need to update the dependencies. Okay, move it again. And you'll see that the eyebrow hell value is 2 and the effect has been increased. If I move this as an example, you see that the movement has been doubled. So assuming we have done this for everything, okay, I will just uh, change this to 1 because it's the correct value. Now all of our bones are driven something on the face okay so here I haven't used this bone to drive both uh, eyebrow up and eyebrow down you can do this very easily just adding a generator with a negative value so whenever this bone is moving in a negative value okay uh, the driven property will return positively because it's multiplied to a negative value. The problem here is that I will use those bones with, uh, with those values to drive the displacement map. And if you have a negative value on a displacement map, okay, it will displace. And this is not what we want. We want our, our displacement value to be set from zero to 0 0.1 okay not that much and if we have a negative value the wrinkles will get out of the face as for the shape keys we will now add a driver to the different uh, displacement so I will be only doing it for uh, one displacement uh, map modifier sorry uh, because it's pretty repetitive and I think if you understand how to set one driver you will be able to set every driver so we will use the first one for head.l that are the, the wrinkles here okay driven by this bone so whenever this bone is moving up okay uh, those wrinkles will appear on the forehead only on the left side of the head so, I go to the modifier stack, just add the driver, okay, and now if I select my head, open the driver editor in the graph editor, I have a new driver here, which is the strength of the displacement map, okay, I select it, open the end panel. So we will also be using the location of the bone okay so it was the y location in the local space of this armature of this bone okay i will update the dependencies just do this uh, pretty frequently whenever nothing is reacting okay even if you have an error message sometimes it's just a problem of interpretation and just updating dependencies uh, get rid of it okay so now, whenever I will move this up, this value is supposed to be changed. And I just forgot to set it to average value here. Okay. And now it's moving. Whenever this uh, goes to 1, OK, 
okay or upper but I've locked its rotation for uh, for um, I've limited this rotation for manipulation's uh, sake okay so whenever I move this bone the value of the modifier will be uh, also uh, increasing and if I go negative it won't move so what I want now uh, formally we see that uh, uh, the optimal value of the displacement what was 0 0.1 so for this one I also need to modify um, the driver's value uh, I just need uh, the maximum value to be 0 0.1 instead of 1 so I have to divide it by 10 so just add the modifier a generator okay set to 0 and multiply it by 10% okay update the dependencies and now whenever I move it to its maximum the value will be 0 0.1 so if now I increase uh, my subsurface level we will see the wrinkles appearing on one side and if I go down so it's a bit slow because of the number of divisions you can see it disappearing okay so let's just repeat this for uh, a second driver so the second one here uh, no, we will use this one as it's uh, using a negative movement so that we have some new stuff to cover okay so this will make the lion recurrence appearing or not okay so let's add the driver okay or if you want uh, to make it faster you can copy this driver and paste it here so that most of the um, of the values uh, will be inherited so you just have to right click copy the driver right click pass the driver then select it and we just have to change the bone that will be used okay this one so now when I will move this bone down, it will uh, make uh, the shape key moving, okay? But the value is now negative, okay? And we don't want this. We want it to be positive, okay? So we just need to change the factor here with a negative one. So during my research, uh, I've changed uh, this value because uh, it was not good. I think it was this one okay to have this value to be 0 0.1 okay okay working so multiplying the bone position with this value make it a 0 0.1 maximum strength for the displacement map and this is what we are looking for every bones have a limit location um, limit co location constraint so even if the value here is uh, going uh, beyond uh, 0 0.4 okay uh, the bone won't move beyond and the value that is used by the driver won't be beyond 0 0.4 so that's why it might look uh, strange so here 0 0.4 uh, multiplied by uh, 0 0.25 make this value being 0 0.1 so you just have to repeat uh, this process on every uh, displacement maps okay and it will allow you to have a single bone uh, driving the shape key and driving the um, the displacement map that is uh, linked so this was my very first uh, tutorial i hope you have liked it and <laughs> that you can excuse my horrible accent in the next tutorial we'll be covering uh, smoothing muscle deformation using uh, driven shape keys uh, on this uh, uh, sexy model